So we are back with another Hell Divers 2 video and today guys we cover the latest and greatest surrounding this game in regards to new leaks, new weapon gameplay, a few other bits and bobs as well as speculation on a stealth nerf to the last 16 sickle. Yes you heard that right. How is it going my beautiful people? My name is DPJ. Now the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credits giveaway is seen on screen now. Now do you want to win 2100 super credits or the game if you're yet to own it? It's simple. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. Simple as that people. And winners are announced on tomorrow's How Divers 2 videos okay so let's go guys so we got a patch earlier today this is patch of 1.000.103 now since this patch i have seen about four or five reports now from big time players too about the last 16 sickle which is a weapon exclusive to uh, the latest warband receiving a stealth nerf now this warband weapon is very very popular since the warband released and people have got their hands on this weapon and tested it i mean if you search youtube for it there's not a negative thing anyone is saying about it in fact people have been predicting that a nerf is going to come for this weapon and now all of a sudden after the latest patch i am seeing people claim they feel it's received that stealth nerf a lot of people reporting on the fact that it seems as though it overheats much much quicker now and a couple of people stating that it just doesn't seem as potent as it once did now i personally i haven't bought this warband yet so i can't test a before and after but i would love your guys opinion on it how does it feel now to you if you have the warband if you have this weapon and it's your go-to it's a lot of people's go-to weapon it was classed as a new metal weapon uh, but now I'm seeing people state it feels though it has been stealth nerfed. There's no no mention of this nerf in the latest patch notes whatsoever. Whether they will come out and state that it received that stealth nerf. If indeed it did receive a stealth nerf is another question though. Now what I will say is there was a lot of reports from companies like IGN. Big old publishers like this stating that the games now pay to win because the best weapon in the game is now tied behind a war bond a war bond which costs super credits lo and behold you can earn super credits for free in this game people i mean where's the pay to win the pve game where the currency used to buy the latest war bond you can earn for free in the game doesn't make sense to me igen spewing shit as usual but you never know if arrowhead have took this into account and just dropped a slight nerf on it so it isn't as potent as it once was who knows people who knows but do let me know your thoughts on this down below do you feel it's received a nerf or does it feel completely fine to you just as it did before let us know guys but it would be a little shady if they did stealth nerf this weapon but hey arrowhead i've already got previous with how divers to in nerfing people's favorite go-to's so nothing would surprise me here okay so we're going to move on to the latest and greatest leaks surrounding the game again these are spoiler territory if you don't want to be spoiled on what's possible future story do leave the video now guys okay so let's go so we have all heard about the illumina a enemy faction believed to be coming to the game those blue laser beams in the sky i mean there's plenty of data mine files uh images of the actual enemies models models of their weapons and one which we'll check out at the end of the video which being textured and looks incredible but yeah there are also tons and tons of audio files leaking being determined from the game added with every single patch i mean the more patches that come the more these things seem to be added into the game which are tied to the illuminate Now I ain't going to play all of these sounds because it goes on for about half an hour. There's actually three posts I've seen so far in regards to these sounds uh, and which are tied to the Illuminate. But I will link them down below. Credit to Mouse TTV over on the How Divers Leaks Reddit for dropping these uh, to the World Wide Web. So if you do want to check them out and listen to them all, be my guest. I'll link them down below. But as the days go on, guys, we'll see more and more 
on the Illuminate, uh, this enemy faction, which was a part of Howl Divers 1, making its way into Howl Divers 2. Now, me personally, from what I've seen and what I've researched, I don't think we're going to see these anytime soon. I'm thinking maybe within the next six months. That's what I'm thinking. But there are people out there that are actually quite sure that we'll see these within the next month or two. But who knows, guys? Who knows? But again, these audio sounds, these files you'll see, link down below if you want to check them out and listen to them for yourself. Okay, so next up, guys, we have some brand new gameplay of the last 99 Quasar Cannon Stratagem. This one comes from and credit to Seat International 805. Now the gameplay is just over eight minutes long. I obviously ain't gonna showcase all of this. If you do want to check out the entire video, you you can. I'll link it down below. But what I get from this is people are still unsure about the performance this thing will offer. Now I actually think it's smart to uh, realize that we shouldn't be trusting leaked gameplay footage in regards to gameplay balance and how a weapon will perform. These shouldn't be in the game yet. They ain't in the game yet. These have been taken out of the, the game files and modded in. How they perform when they actually arrive in game could be night and day to what we're seeing in regards to the gameplay. And I've actually seen with the last 99 Quasar Cannon, some people say it will take out a biotite with one shot. Others say it takes three or four shots. I think it could be down to the angle this thing's being fired and where it's hitting in regards to the enemy. But as of right now, this is the gameplay we have. And people are saying it's a little bit wonky. There's something not right about it. But again, this is what balance patches are for. This is why they play test certain things. And I have no doubt when the last 99 Quasar Cannon eventually hits the game, it will be balanced out. There's no two ways about that. Next up, guys, we have more gameplay of brand new weapons and stratagems not yet in the game. We see gameplay of the Commando, which looks absolutely incredible to me. We see the Silo Missile, which I've covered in a previous video. And we see the Pistol Grenade Launcher, which although wouldn't fit my playstyle, this thing looks like it hits like an absolute beast. And you're seeing them in the background now. Now, credit to these goals to Solve. I'll link his video in the video description if you do want to check it out. The video goes on for 16 minutes or almost 16 minutes. There's plenty of gameplay footage I will not feature here. But yes, for me right now, the Commando looks like it's going to be a goal too. The Silo Missile also looks like a beast. And the Pistol Grenade Launcher, like I said in a previous video when I covered this, I'm not sure it's for me. My secondary pistol is normally used for me to get out of those sticky situations where I'm cornered by a bunch of bugs or automatons using a grenade launcher or a grenade pistol. At the moments in time when you're cornered, it's just going to hit the enemy right in front of you and blow you up. So yeah, but if you have that playstyle of sitting slightly back, taking the enemies out from afar, never normally in the face of the enemy, it could be the perfect weapon for you. But yes, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Next up, guys, we have a possible new boss, the Automaton Fleet Ship. Now, I covered this in a video briefly earlier. It was dropped on Reddit by Iron Sights, who textures these models that are found within the game files and makes them look like how they will eventually come and hit the game. And they do look incredible, so credit to this dude. Now, the thing about this is, is the scale of it, how big this thing is and why this thing needs to be even in the game if it isn't a boss or there ain't some kind of, and I'm speculating here people, some form of space battle coming because this thing, the scale of it is gonna be absolutely enormous. Now, the weapon attached to the bottom of this thing, I covered in a video day before yesterday, I believe, it's a rail cannon. This thing is believed to be the size of eight bio titans side by side. That's how long this thing is. Now you see that only takes up about half of that ship or about two thirds of that ship. So how big is this ship people? It's going to be absolutely massive. Now the reason this is believed to be a boss is through a few other dead in mind files we see, which you're seeing on screen now, which I believe were tied to this ship, whatever this thing is. So yes, but it is early days. Many things can change, but man, oh man, I cannot wait to see this thing in the game, in those skies flying above us. It's gonna be incredible. Now, next up, guys, we have another leak from Mouse TTV. Now, what these are, I believe, to be Super Earth map textures. We see mud, grass, forest, and moss. 
Now, it is believed that Super Earth will eventually be a map where we may have to defend this. A lot of previous leaks have pointed this way. We see a couple of unused ads within the game files, which also point towards us defending our home, defending Super Earth. And now we've seen new map textures for Super Earth being added into the game. I mean, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I reckon this could be tied in with the automaton and what's going down with them. But I do feel Super Earth will eventually be a place we will eventually have to defend. And I cannot wait for that, guys. And now moving on to what we see here, which is a drop from Iron Sights, a possible Super Earth player card. Now, this is all speculation. It's just a look at this to me. That's what it's screaming at me. But let me know your thoughts on this down below, guys. Okay, so lastly today, a game by Iron Sights, who's incredible in regards to adding textures to models within the game files. We see this Illuminate Enemy Pathfinder. How cool does this indeed look? Now, you can see he's holding what looks like a, I don't know, like a, a circle, but that's actually a whip. But I am hearing people state this can take the form of a sword, a disc, and a few other things. Now, there's a lot in regards to the uh, enemy faction of the Illuminate. There's plenty to learn about these. If you didn't play Helldivers 1 like me, I suggest you do go to the wiki if you're interested in learning about these. There's plenty of them. They look like a formidable force. And it's only just a matter of time before we do see these in-game. Sooner, later, who knows, guys. But this looks incredible. And I just hope that when these do eventually come into the game, we get some Illuminate themed weapons we can get our hands on too. But we will just have to wait and see. But there we have it, guys, for another Helldivers 2 news leak roundup. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.